Hi there, Jan Shagda with Clarity Coaching. I work with individuals and groups to be at their best through personality assessments and coaching services. So today we're talking about um, the best way to reduce employee turnover. So those of you that are interested in this conversation of how to retain the best talent, the best employees, will know that employee engagement is the key. And when we're talking about engaged employees, we mean those employees that really care about the organization that are going out of their way. So the best example I've heard about the levels of employee engagement would be uh, a, a very engaged employee would walk down the hallway and see a piece of trash and put it in the, in the garbage. Um, a neutral employee would see the trash and say, well, that's not my job and pass on by. And a disengaged employee would be the one throwing the trash on the floor. So, and here we're hoping for engaged employees, which is the key to reducing turnover. So how do you create engaged employees? Uh, well, there's an article on Forbes that I'm going to put a link to here in the body um, of the blog that I think really nails it down to the key elements. And two of those we're going to be talking about today, which are um, having empathy and uh, focusing on intrinsic motivation for your employees. So let me quickly explain what those are. So empathy is th that connection, that basic connection that you have with your employees. Do they feel understood, seen, listened to? Do they feel like you have their back and are on their side? Can they come to you with problems? So making sure that you have enough of a relationship where that can happen. Um, that's empathy, number one. The number two thing is having intrinsic motivation. So there's two types of motivation, intrinsic and extrinsic. Extrinsic means it's coming from outside of you, extrinsic. So that would be, you know, how much money you're making, what are the benefits, what um, are the job conditions, those sorts of things. But the intrinsic motivation has to do with why you personally want to do that job. Is it to provide for your family? Do you love the work that you're doing? Are you making a difference? And if you can, as an employer, tap into those intrinsic sources of motivation, your employee retention long term is going to be much better. So what are the ways to make sure that you can reduce employee turnover by tapping into these two things? Well, I have a few tips for you, three tips. Um, first thing which I think most people would agree it's a great idea, but we don't always make it happen. Solicit their input, your employee's input, in a monthly conversation. It's great to have asked them at least once what their goals are for their career, why they're working that particular job, what they like about it, what they don't. Asking about it once is great. Asking about it on a recurring basis is better. So if you can have some kind of uh, periodic check-in where you're soliciting that feedback from your employees, that's going to create the empathy and connection that you need uh, for them to be less likely to leave. Number two, uh, in terms of the motivation question, take the time to understand what's really in it for them. Why are they at that job? And this can be a little tricky because they, depending on where your trust is, they may not be totally forthcoming and open about this in the beginning, but the more you can understand, oh, this is what they are really enjoying about that task or this task, um, that can be really helpful. And the third tip, which would go into, which would feed into the other two, is take the time to really understand your employees. If you take an extra interest in them, what makes them tick, um, their likes, dislikes, motivations, that's not only going to create that sense of connection and empathy, but it's also going to give you more information about what motivates them and how to replicate that. As you know, since you've come to my channel, my favorite way to understand people and help them feel connected is through the use of personality work, temperament work, um, showing them that you really care enough to understand how they function, what they need most, and how you can relate with them best is a great way to focus on your employees and reduce employee turnover. And one final thought, um, Gallup, the, organi the research organization which creates StrengthsFinder, has done some great research on this and seen that um, if you're talking with your employees 
about their strengths on a monthly basis in particular is what they recommend that reduces turnover significantly and in, in, by increasing employee engagement. So um, the strengths finder is a great way to do that, but I think the, the message is that as long as you are having that conversation with your employees, what are you best at, how can we give you more of that, that's going to create a better culture and a place ultimately where your employees want to be. So thanks for joining us today. Um, join us for next week as we continue their series about nonprofits and organizations. I'll see you then.